Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing series I'm Aditya. In this series, we are going to see all about Nux3 and this series will be focused mostly on Nux3's concepts. So I won't be covering View3 or basics of View3. So I assume when you come to this series, I assume that you have basic understanding of View3 and how things work in View3 and then you're trying to advance in View3 by using Nux3 to create amazing web applications. So let's begin with this series and let's begin without any further ado. Okay, so let's try to understand what is Nux3. So Nux3 is a view framework. Now you will say view is already a framework. So why we need a framework for a framework? So Nux3 you can call a meta framework that is a framework for a framework and Nux it's actually makes our life super simple when we have to create web applications using view3 mainly in terms of rendering data fetching and also in terms of optimization when i say optimization it's core optimization and also the performance overall now nux3 has a lot of improvements over nux2 and also if you see like on their website they have features like what have been added here so you have lighter bundle sizes and also you have faster uh performance in terms of you can have hybrid rendering so we can have incremental static side generation and also we can have server side rendering or single page application so client side rendering so everything is possible plus we could use view 3 with it which is more amazing and it also comes up with nux cli so nux cli uh, uh, they have come up with new which is nuxy and also you can have typescript support so Everything amazing is here. Now let's get started by creating a simple Nux3 application. So if I go to introduction, uh, they have all these features that list like what have been added and etc. etc. So let's go on with installation. Now here we first need to make sure, of course, that we have Node.js installed and npm installed correctly. So that is gonna be our very first step. Once it is done, we can simply use npx to create our Nux application. So let's copy this and put it on our terminal. So in my terminal, I'm going to name this as Nux3 app and then hit enter. Now, after I hit enter, it will ask me certain questions. So let's see what does it ask. Okay, so first one is asking me, should we install this Nux3 package? Of course, because it's a command line tool for Nux application. So let's go forward with it. And once it is installed, there we go. Now. It is asking to cd into Nux3 app, then do certain commands, then like npm install and npm run dev. So let's do that. So cd Nux3 app, npm install. So now this will install all the packages uh, which our previous command has created during the scaffolding. So those packages will be listed in package.json. We will see in a moment. And also it will install the packages dependencies also. So let's have this process completed and then we'll get back to it. All right, so all the packages have been installed now. So now let's start our uh, project. But before that, let's open it with VS Code. So code switch dot, and now it will open with VS Code. There we go. So here in package.json, you will see that it has certain configurations over here. So it installed Nuxt, or the release candidate version, Nuxt 3 release candidate version, and also whatever packages are required for Nuxt. Also, it has added TypeScript or tsconfig.json file, just in case if we want to use TypeScript in our project. Nuxt config.ts, it's coming with the TypeScript uh, version, which is fine. So even though we'll be using most of mostly JavaScript, but sometimes if required, we will see also the TypeScript version, but most probably we will use JavaScript to keep it simple. Now, once that is done, let's run this project and we will go with the pro uh, over the project structure. So npm run dev, and this should start, there we go, over here. Let's copy this, put it in our browser, done. You will have this amazing ready-made website with Nux3 and all that it is coming from this app.view. So let's try to see what have we given with and what exactly this, this website have. So we have here app.view and node modules folder and dot nuxt folder and that's it. We don't have this nuxt welcome anywhere. So where is this component coming from? Well, this component is inbuilt nuxt component. Uh, it's just like when you create website or create a nuxt project for the first time, uh, this component, it just renders that showing about 
as like uh, get started by remove this welcome page by replacing next pay welcome into app dot view and then other things all that we have given over here so we can see the documentation the github page and also follow them on twitter so overall this is just an inbuilt component so now let's try to edit this now let's remove this from here and let's create a simple h1 tag which says this is home page h1 and let's just save this now if we go back over here you will see we have our com uh, page rendered over here now in the next video we will meet up again to see how we can create a component bring in over here and how imports work in nux 3 so see you in the next video till the next time goodbye